Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial of Civil Tech Source. My name is Ferdi and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a horizontal alignment in Civil 3D. Now, it's a video of a bigger series on how to design roads in Civil 3D. So if you would like to learn how to do that, hit the subscribe button so you can stay notified. Alignments in Civil 3D is the fundamental of drawing roads in Civil 3D. Alignments consist of straights or also known as tangents, curves and spirals. For this tutorial, I've prepared a, a ground profile that we're going to use as our existing surface and it's on a different drawing and we brought it in through the use of shortcuts. I'll do a different tutorial on that on how to do that. And we have a road with a junction which will be part of the bigger series tutorials. So I will make sure that file is available in the link in the description below. Now we also have some exercises just so you can test and try different ways of creating alignments. For this tutorial, the way we're going to create alignments are two, the alignment creation tools and the create alignment from objects. To create an alignment, we're going to go to home, create design panel, alignment, alignment creation tools. Now the create alignment layout window will appear. We're going to give it a name. I like keeping my name short and sweet because this is a horizontal alignment. I'm going to do HA test one. The type, it is a center line. I can add the description if I like, and then decide. You can select which size you're working on. I usually do none unless a specific reason I have to do on a different site. Alignment styles is basically how you want the alignment to be presented. If I go here and go to edit current selection and see how the what color of the line, the line type, curve, spiral, etc. And you also can have markers and you can fiddle all of this. In my case, it is design style LWT. And if you don't have that, that's okay because I'm using the UKIE package and this comes with the UKIE package. Also with the alignment label set. So basically show every major, minor and both horizontal and vertical geometries. In the design criteria, we have the option to design our alignment using a starting design speed and we can edit the design speeds later on after we finish the alignment for different sections. And then we can use criteria based design. So basically, if your alignment, the way you do it is not following that criteria files that you have here in our case in UK is CD or DMRB guidance, then it will flag a exclamation point. For this tutorial, I just want to keep it short and simple on how to create an alignment and the tools that you need to know to get you started and then everything else you start building from there. So I'm just going to hit OK. Now this toolbar will appear, which is says alignment layout tools, HA test one. That means everything I draw or do will have to do with test one. The first command we're going to look at is the first button and it is the draw tangent tangent, basically straight straight, no curves. And then we have the width curves and you can see we have two exercises, no curves with curves. Let's start with no curves. It will prompt us to select a point. So I'm going to select this point and you see I draw my first straight and now it's asking me to draw the second straight and again the third straight. And if I right click and see it finished and let's bring up the tail where you can see that we have our alignment right here. Now, if I want to move or edit this, I just select my alignment and you can see the end grips are basically just like any other polyline. You can edit them and you can see that's the intersection point. I can edit it and the middle point moves exactly like a polyline would move if you would edit it. Now let's do the tangent tangent with curves. We're going to do it with curves and we're going to start from here. We're going to draw our first tangent or straight. And you can see as soon as I stop going straight, it adds a curve. And I'm going to click on the second point and then on the third one. Now you will notice that this did not get any change. That is because that still belongs into test one. Now the reason no change has appeared here is because this is still part of test one and it's no in any shape or way connected. Now if I draw a straight line, a fixed line between the two points, so let's say that's the wrong point, so let's escape again. This point all the way to here and right click and see it picked it up as one alignment. But I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to undo. And then I'm going to delete the. So if I select it and delete it, it will delete the whole alignment. So we have this delete sub entity command. So I'm going to delete my entities in them. And what I'm going to do is create a new alignment and call it 
H1 horizontal alignment test 2. I hit OK. And if we go tangent tangent with curves. You can see that now it has its own chainage and when I select it, it says test two. And when I select this alignment, it says test one. As soon as you select it and you will automatically pick up which alignment you want to work with. Now it has some grips as well. So you've got the triangle that controls the intersection point. Then you've got the grip that controls the length of the curve. And then you've got the other two triangles which also control this as well. Let's go to the next command, which would be the free filler curve, which is the way I design my roads. H A test three. Hit OK and see it's test three. And the way I design it is I use a tangent, tangent, no curves. So I draw my tangents from there to there. And then I will know what radius I'm using. So let me just delete that polyline underneath. And what I do is I use the curve tool curve fillet between two entities radius basically i select the first entity and i try to follow the way i drew the alignment so i drew from zero to there so i select this one as first and this one is the next entity now the curve solution there could be two curve solutions and let's see if i have the window open so you can see that you have the first curve solution which is less than 180 degrees you can see that's a straight first tangent second tangent that's under 80 degrees and that's the solution more than 180 degrees so it goes like this i would imagine you would do that if you have a road overlapping on itself like a bridge but in my case it will be less than 180 so therefore i need to specify the radius so let's say i'm gonna do 50 hit enter and i'm gonna select the other entity to there to there less than 180 and let's say 100. now if i wish to edit curve radius to be exactly where I did the typo then I can go to this button here the green button alignment grid view and you can see it brings this window up and then you see we've got the radius and I can select it you can see it highlights it here but because the window is there let's move it and you can see the 100 is highlighted here so maybe I don't want it 100 I want it 70, uh, 75 and that is how you can control it from here as well now the last one, which is usually the way I do it quick and dirty, is to create an alignment using objects. In my case, I have this polyline. I'm going to select it and hit enter. It will ask me for direction. I'm happy with the direction, so I'm just going to hit enter again. And I'm going to give it a name, HA test 4. Now you can see here, it tells us add curves between tangents. So we have one tangent, second tangent. I wanted to add curves. If the default radius that you add is too big to find a solution, it will just draw some radiuses along for all of them and will not follow to be the same. I did test it and you feel free to test as well, but I need to keep this to three or short. In my case, I'm gonna do a radius of 50 for both. You can have the option to remove the existing polyline. I'm gonna remove it and hit okay. And you can see that it drew two radiuses, which seem pretty similar. So one way to find out is select the alignment now i want to bring the tools where's the toolbar so once you select the alignment there is this tab that created ha test 4 and there is this geometry editor i'm gonna click on it and then i'm gonna go to the grid view and you can see 50 and 49 i'm gonna do this one as 50 not sure why the 49 maybe i moved it slightly but there you have it this is the main ways you can create an alignment and move forward now obviously you have other commands as well in our we uh, and we're gonna look at them very briefly so we have let's select this alignment test one we have the insert point of intersection so i'm gonna insert a new one so i'm gonna insert one right here and you can see that can become a point of intersection you can draw you can either delete the point of intersection so you just select it and delete it the command right here we can draw some straight lines I'm gonna draw from there, let's say to there, and right click and see it got extended. You've got also obviously other options as well, like best fit line through some points or free line between two curves. You've got many, many options. So basically let's try to make it easier for you. But personally, I always make sure I draw the 2D myself and I just come and model on top of it. But Civil 3D gives you the option to draw it in, uh, to model it as you draw 
and then we have we the delete sub entity as we discussed and we also we have the reverse entity so let's say i draw a fixed line between two points from there to there usually the way you draw should follow the path of the alignment but this one we drew it from there to there although it's connected it's not picking up the change that is because we need to reverse that straight line or so if i click reverse sub entity and reverse it and hit enter you can see it picked it up straight away so enough of this let's model the road that we have so i'm gonna close everything we have this road we have a radius of 30 and a radius of 50. so i'm gonna create a new alignment ha road one and i leave everything as is i'm gonna do tangent tangent no curves from there on this point this point and towards the end click enter i'm gonna add a curve between two entities and using a radius because I have cycle selection on, it will prompt me to select which one I want. The Civil 3D cycle selection is important, so have it turned on. Radius is 30. Hit enter. And if I regen, you can see there's the arc there. And then alignment and alignment. You can see that the order I select the alignments is the way um, the change increases. So I select the first one, then the second one. Less than 180, and this one is 50. And then I'm going to create a new alignment for this road. Don't get confused and do the same one on here because then it will be just road one. So create alignment, new alignment. Let's call it HA road two. And I'm just going to go a straight line between two points there all the way to there and right click. So this is where we're going to stop the tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're going to cover the surface profile from the alignments and also how to draw your vertical profile for the road so hit the subscribe button so you can stay notified and i will see you in the next video thank you